ghost poem. Is eleven times in nineteen seconds. And so the man of 350 pounds had a wife and a family of six. Lived in a town called Thompsonville, known for breaking up conflicts. He worked as a horticulturist, a genius and a generous and congenial man. A friend said he was a teddy bear and didn't have high demands. On the streets hanging out, they said Lucy's is what he sold. Although he professed that he did not, he still had no control. He said aloud, please leave me alone. He was tired of being harassed. Bet he didn't know within just a few minutes his world would be the past. Many will march and protest. The wolves closed in to seize the lamb. The blood the wolves did taste and how they stood and then set in would soon be a national disgrace. First there were four, and then there were five. Was there a prayer that could have saved him then? Choke, hold tight. There was no way that he could even defend. They got him to the ground and scared the shit out of others. He dug his knee right in his face, looking like he had tried to smother. Die, nigga, die. I can't breathe, was said 11 times. Why didn't anyone listen? Then the body was very still. The scene was no audition. And so he lied there on the street. Witnesses were everywhere. 19 seconds in a chokehold, so unjust and so unfair. Bury him in the garden of faith. His last name says it should be. Saddened by what had happened, that day once again the wolves did succeed. They're out to hunt. Die, nigga. Thank you. To Evie, girlfriends. We cried together, smiled together, skipped down the street together, danced together, told jokes and yappity yap together, shared our food, sent messages to the moon and rode camels down Kennedy Boulevard. Now that's what girlfriends do. We wrote books about pharaohs, spoke to Nostradamus telepathically, and wrote love notes to our ancestors smoking cannabis leaves, sitting on tree trunks. We peeled mangoes and kiwi, and ate peanuts in shells, then swam in the Atlantic, cause that's what girlfriends do. We reminisced on our girlhood, grammar school, high school, college, we went to different states. We certified ourselves as priests and gave communion to students, deans, and teachers who thought themselves to be more supreme than others were. A baptism helped them to recognize that they were not more supreme, cause that's what girlfriends do. Girlfriends like we argued and fussed, 
It all, it wasn't always sugar and spice and everything chocolate, confetti burgers, or Shakespeare in the park. But more like tea parties for two. Listening to Mozart in Vienna at the piazza in a C major. How compelling and most extraordinarily delightful. Because that's what girlfriends do. We planted flowers, then painted them on canvas. We took pictures and posed like Naomi. We loved hard like Thelma and Louise. We have grown and still rise to the occasion and fight the good fight and win the long war and turn to salute the rising of the sun that gives us light and energy and newness. That's where we stand today because that's what girlfriends do. <laughs> Thank you so much, thank you so much. <laughs> My wine. Yes, I drink my wine at home so I can be sloppy, ladylike, or apprehensive. I can shake my ass, sing Pavarotti on all flat notes, imitate a ghost whisperer or write emails to friends in Japanese. Just let me be. Let me be crazy and outlandish because that's what wine can do. It can be a mistake or can soothe my mind. It can, it can, it can. It can be other people. It can verbalize and over-accessorize, baptize. You see, my wine can bring me down. I mean, down to soft, cloud-like images that float in my living room. My wine doesn't allow me to stand up. I sit. Then the more I sip, the more I sink into a non-energy, lethargic piece of blah. Those five senses you talk about are really three. And I see angels swing dance and wave to me like Granny did in the, Bella, in the Beverly Hillbillies. It can, it can, it can, it can put me to sleep. It can make me cry and remember too much, don't touch. Yes, I drink my wine and celebrate occasions that never happened. Then in my head I ring the Liberty Bell in Pennsylvania four times. Prince Charles, who is in charge of it, said that I could. I don't go to a bar, a neighbor, or congregate in family households with card players. I drink alone. Two glasses, mostly one, because my buzz comes quick and my work evenings are short and I got to get that shit on and so on. Let me drink my drink and puff on my cigar if I desire. Let me hear the counting of Mozart's measurements in my head. He was a genius. It can, it can, it can be that little shop of horrors. Or be Alvin Ailey doing revelations that dance, 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 yeah. I drink my wine. <laughs> Five more minutes. Okay. I think maybe just like two more pieces. That should be good. Oh, my book, Sudan's Angels, can be uh, gotten online and um, Amazon. It can be gotten from the publishing company, Author House, and I also have copies with Stay me. Stay on the mic. Oh, and I also have copies with me. Yeah. <clears throat> Quiet expression. A woman once said, I don't like children. They're dirty, 
They ask too many questions. They take up all of your time and spend all of your money. And after giving them years of love and attention, they express no appreciation. One day, a four-year-old girl and her family moved next door to the woman. And the little girl asked, Miss, excuse me, may I come with you to walk, to walk, come with you while you walk your black dog? The woman paused when she looked down into a chubby face with curly hair. My mom says it's okay. She's sitting right over there. Well then, the woman paused. Yes, you may. The girl placed her hand into the woman's. The woman flinched when she felt the gritty hand in hers. But she was okay and held on tighter as they walked and talked about little things. That woman was me. <laughs> My last poem, called Children Walk, which is dedicated to the 1.1 billion people around the world who do not have clean water and which is mostly affecting our children. Every morning, little food to eat, not feeling up to going on that beat. Wake in the morning, no shoes to wear. Not always cheerful faces, siblings look and stare. Flies always follow them. They seem to take the ride, sticking on their shoulders, sticking in their eyes. Does a young girl's innocence get her snatched away? making her easy prey. Children walk, no happy feet. They walk for water till they are weak. Six miles there do they ever crawl, wonder how they make that trip at all. Do they want to play, smell the grass grow, talk to the animals as they go? Hauling water for their families, never going to school, hoping that God can help figure out new rules. Not enough pads, so menstruation is a problem. Blood dripping down little legs, a situation so bothersome. Trying to hide it from daddy, do they puke? from the heat, wiping it from his feet. Their lives are different from ours. Their struggle is what we see. I'm sure they count the hours to one day be like we. Unclean water is worldwide. 20 kilograms carried on their heads, lugged back home for grain and bread. The diarrhea is what kills. They drop and pass away. Gentle children, pretty faces, perfect like a bouquet. Do they know the king, the Malcolm, and the truth? Do they know that they walked being so young in their youth? Do they know Mandela, Rosa Parks, and Holiday? Do they know that we love them and for them we pray? Do they cry together, cry themselves to sleep, knowing that tomorrow again will be a repeat? Children walk, 
no happy feet. They walk for water till they are weak. Six miles there, do they ever crawl? Wonder how they make that trip at all. Wow. Thank you.